Well, that feels entirely too good. Lovely day for it. May I see your letter of transit, please? Oh, my, uh, letter of transit. Of course. Oh. You know I must have left it at the office. No problem, sir. I will be right here when you do have it. My office is actually in the parade, you see, so if I can just go and get it, then I can show it to you. Well, this is awkward, isn't it? I can't very well let you across in your say-so, can I? Rules is rules. Well then, I suppose I'll be back. Damn it. I guess I'm going to have to get that codlip royal for Sally after all. See the doctor? He does love to be in the papers, head right on in. I told him the labs was on lockdown. They don't listen anymore. Well, you certainly laid out a convincing argument. Where do you think you're going then? We're not open to the general public. Bugger off! I'm interviewing Dr. Verloc. Ah, you're a member of the Fourth Estate. You've come at an awkward time, you see, as we're just in the middle of, uh... Well, there's been a bit of excitement in the lab. Let's come back tomorrow. You're not saying something's gone wrong? No, of course not. Everything's peachy. Look, all right, you take your press pass up to Helen in public relations. Just, uh, follow the sort of brown-coloured line. I must ask you not to stray from the path, because there's all sorts of delicate machinery and chemicals and whatnot, and we don't want you hurting yourself, do we? What sort of crisis makes them lock down the entire factory? Sure the workers here will have the same respect for a press boss as the Bobbies did. You are not authorized. Please clear the area. Please. Please stand by for decontamination. Pro 
Product purity is our highest goal at Hayworth Labs. The decontamination procedure allows us to maintain the highest standard of purity. I'm so glad they're concerned about purity. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed into the lab. Do not turn down the heat on the rominating reaction until you've noted the temperature curve. I need to determine the explosive oh, threshold temperature. Please don't struggle. Never mind. Just grasp the temperature curve and pop it in the pneumatic. Oh, you know, oh, bloody I won't samples of any residue on it. Easily. Explosive debris. When you pack rat, you can't take all this with you. Please don't make a fuss. Steam, if that is indeed what I did. Samples of the fog next time I come down there. Just 
get a word from it, yeah? Stick it in the box, stop at it, take the stopper and label it. Sneak past these gents without a fuss. If I hadn't smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. I guess this is the latest test formula. I think I'll just take this with me. Evidence or something. Permanent solution. Drove the subject insane. Oh, Lord. A big red button. I wonder what it opens. <laughs> I feel rather brilliant right now. Work something out. No. I threatened to thrash Timmy Hargreaves because he said rotten things about Sally and it turned out he had an older brother who'd been in the army and he was waiting for me on my doorstep when I came home from school and he gave me such a thrashing why would I remember that right now? Christ, Sally was in on the scheme No, wait she's being very nice about it but she's not at all on board, is she? Hmm the salamander seems to think Veloc's solution is a tad rash. Well, it's alarming given what she considers reasonably cautious.
Dr. Verloc is thinking very hard, sir. No visitors. The brominating reaction has caught fire. Sir, sorry to bother you, sir. But there's a fellow here says the reaction tank is on fire again. I said no interruptions. Some of the byproducts are poisonous. He says it's poisonous, sir. Of course there are poisonous byproducts. Tell him to do whatever they did the last time. Dr. Verloc would like you to do whatever you did the last time. No one knows that. He's an imposter. Implement security protocol 187. Oh, yes, sir. That's my favorite protocol. I am full of the fury of the Lord, and I am right weary with holding back. Right, I've had it with you. The Lord judgeth me, and he is angry every day. You shall be tormented with fire. You shall drink the wine of fire. Ye shall... <laughs> the Lord judgeth thee! <laughs> Ye shall not deceive me with empty words! <laughs> you shall drink the what? <laughs> You shall be tormented with fire and suffer!
Sorry to bother. Just relax. Don't question it. Was that supposed to be ironic? Sergeant! Sergeant! Did you know half your workers are unconscious? The, the, the fumes issue will resolve itself. Look, I'm very busy recalculating the brominating reaction so it is non-explosive. Unless you've got a magic formula for synthesizing joy out of bleach, whiskey, and saltpeter, get out! You're planning to lobotomize the people of Wellington Wells, aren't you? Lobotomize is a rather inflammatory metaphor, but yes, I have been asked to synthesize something stronger and more permanent than joy. Who are you? If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat! <laughs> and what do you think you are now? You are just the sum of the neuropeptides swirling in your bloodstream. You see, the current downer outbreak is just a mass chemical imbalance. But I believe I can adjust the internal hormonal settings so the people stay happy no matter what. You can't do that. They told the Wright brothers they couldn't fly, but they did. You can't do that. Oh, my lord. You're that downer they've been warning us about. I'm actually just here for a bottle of cod liver oil. What makes you think I'll give it to you? This bottle of your new formula. If I smash it and you breathe the fumes, will it make you happy forever and always? You mustn't. It makes the patient insane. Ha! Now you can't move until I take my hand off this button. Oh, shit. Where's the bloody cod liver oil Sally wanted? This is the cleanest office I've ever seen. Where does he hide his hello? I wonder if he has a secret lair. It's just the sort who would. Sally's ridiculous cod liver oil, I'd better be down here, or I shall be cross. Listen, Sally Boyle's gonna come live with us for a bit. Sally Boyle? Why? Because her mum poisoned the whole bloody rest of her family, Arthur. And because we've got a spare bed in the attic now till Percy comes back from Germany. She's your age, you know. She's an idiot. Well then, you two should get along beautifully. Dr. Verloc seems to be quite the collector. Where's the fucking cod liver oil? Look 
King of Eggs! The King of Eggs! The King of Eggs! Don't laugh, Arthur. Don't laugh. <laughs> And thank you, Sally, for another wonderful adventure. Doesn't look like where the pills go out. Oh, what's going on this conveyor belt? <laughs> Possibly me. Plus the chemicals. We can't run with all this stuff. You better throw something away before something starts chasing you. Drain? To where? The river? Might be a way out. I found my poison in the river. Not that anything's alive in it now. Ah. A hatch. Lovely. I've seen so many hatches in my entire life. Break in somehow. Maybe I can find some answers inside. If I can get in somehow. of transit. So? Sally? Salamander? If she's not here, I swear to God I'll kill her. Hi. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Oh, you're a lifesaver. It's a bloody souvenir. God, it's awful. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. How are you holding up? Do you care? How are you going to get out? 
Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want. Always what you need. Every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Do you really th- think I'm that awful? What, just because you fucked my dad while you were living in our house, in my mum's bed? <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Look, I don't hate you. In the strangest way, you're completely innocent. You're practically the only one I know who is. It's on the dresser there. Are you going to be okay? I could take you with me. Really? We have to go now. The joy's gone bad. It's going crazy out there. I can't go right now. Why? Oh, God. No. It's not simple. It never is. We'll have to wait till dawn. No, that's crazy. I I can't. You shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. Look, there's something I haven't been entirely straight with you about. It's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Do you think she really meant it? The kiss and all? What if I went back and said, yes, yes, I'll take you and... They lived happily ever after. No! A girl like that shipwrecks and the next day she's drinking margaritas under palm trees and you'll suffer for shocks. That is it. Never again.